Out of the 26 South African universities, only eight of them offer radiography. In this video today, you'll find out which those eight universities are, the duration of the radiography course, as well as what is required of you before being admitted into the course. Hello ambitious people, welcome back to yet another video from myself, Zama Zwane, a diagnostic radiographer and a private aeroplane pilot. Now, before I give you the eight universities, I'd like to ask that you don't confuse radiography with radiology because these terms are sometimes used interchangeably, whereas they are two different courses altogether. So I've linked down um, on the description box below uh, a video where I gave a simple breakdown of the different courses. So yeah, do check them out if you are unclear. If you'd like to study in the Gauteng province, you can do so at University of Johannesburg or UJ. Um, there's three options for you in Pretoria, which is the University of Pretoria. Um, there's Tswane University of Technology or TUT, as well as SMU, which is Sefako Mahato Health Sciences University. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, DUT or Deben University of Technology is the only University in KwaZulu Natal that offers radiography. Then there's also Cape Peninsula University of Technology in Cape Town and Central University of Technology, which is in the Free State. And then the eighth university is um, the NMU, Nelson Mandela University, which is in Port Elizabeth in um, the Eastern Cape Province. All the universities that I've just mentioned offer diagnostic radiography. So if you'd like to study either ultrasonography, nuclear medicine or radiation therapy, please do consult with the university first uh, because I know some don't offer those and some skip a certain number of years before they introduce or offer those courses. So yeah, just contact the universities first to get clarity on that. Radiography courses are either offered as a diploma or a degree qualification. So yeah, depending on the university you're applying to, which takes three or four years. So I know with DUT, where I did my uh, course, they previously offered radiography as um, a three-year diploma program where uh, postgraduates could do an additional year of BTEC if they wanted to. So that program was phased out and now only four-year degree courses for radiography is offered at DUT. So yeah, confirm with the university you are applying to on whether they are offering it as um, diploma or degree qualification. To get admitted, you need to have your national senior certificate with a bachelor's degree or diploma endorsement. And then you'll have to have a level four for um, English as either your home language or your first additional language, a level four for physical sciences and or life sciences. So um, just confirm again with the universities, some universities only want you to have either physical sciences or life sciences, but um, others require you to have both these subjects. So yeah, all in all though, it should give you uh, an admission point score of around 25, um, yeah. Another thing that I'd like to mention, which I think is of importance, is that you might be required to visit uh, some hospitals, either private or public or both, if you can, to do some work shadowing. So basically, you'll be given, you'll be given a log sheet, which um, will have to fill in the details of the hospitals you'll be visiting. And the qualified radiographer will be um, showing you around and explaining to you their day-to-day -day work life, what it's like, We'll have to sign um, at the end to as evidence to to say or yeah confirm that you indeed attended or visited the hospitals my advice on that is that you call the hospital um, you'd like to do your work shadowing at so that they can expect you um, yeah because sometimes you'll find hospitals are really busy and um, you have to make an appointment so that they can have like set time for you as well so yeah and um, do some background research before going there of your own and ask as many questions use that opportunity to ask as many questions on whatever you're unclear about on the course 
in general and what um, the life of being a radiographer is all about so that to make an informed decision before accepting that study offer so yeah i hope you found this video really helpful and if you did please don't forget to like and share it to anyone else who, who you think might find it beneficial thank you so much for watching i'll see you again on my next upload bye bye